Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Equine Energy. I'm Dr. Christina Sunday Wagner, a traumatic brain injury survivor, and today I have an excellent Equine Energy story for you. Today, we embark on a fascinating journey into the life of Maria Orsic, or Orsic, as we'll be calling her, a mysterious figure from the history and explore how her story intertwines with the teachings of Dolores Cannon and also how she is linked to horses and equine energy. Dear viewer, I have a hypothesis that might surprise you, so make sure you listen until the end to discover a new perspective on this mysterious figure. Maria was born on October 31st, 1895 in Austria. She was born into privilege. Her father was named Thomas and he was an architect and her mother was Sabine and she was a ballerina and socialite. Maria's parents both had an interest in the novel titled The Coming Race, written by Edward Bulver Leighton in 1871. In the novel, Vril is described as a powerful and life-giving force. So we think that this might have been where she got the name for her horse. Of course, Maria had the finest riding lessons as a young girl. Maria, fascinated by esoteric and the unseen, began hosting seances during her teenage years. These gatherings were not only about connecting with the departed, but also delving into the enigmatic source of source energy. And that's what I'll be calling it throughout the video. In the tales of Maria Orsic and the Vril Society, a fascinating connection unfolds as they embrace the belief that their flowing locks held a cosmic significance. Maria and the girls within the Vril Society chose to grow and maintain their hair long, even though the fashion was short hair. They saw their hair as a tangible link to the universal forces, the wellspring of energy, or that some might refer to as the divine source, the ineffable essence we call God. For them, the strands of hair became more than mere physical fibers they symbolized a conduit, an antenna reaching out to the cosmic frequencies. In their understanding, the longer the hair, the stronger the connection to the vast energies that surround and permeate our existence, much like the flowing waters of a river or the branches of a tree reaching towards the heavens. It was an acknowledgement that just as nature is inextricably connected to the universe, so too are we, and our hair becomes a tangible expression of that connection. In this exploration of hair as a conduit to the universal energies, Maria Orsic and the Vril Society wove a unique fabric that touched upon the mystical threads binding the physical and metaphysical realms. Whether one sees it as a symbolic gesture or a tangible link, the reverence for long hair among them serves as a captivating chapter in the ever-evolving narrative of our quest to understand and connect with the cosmic forces that shape our reality. Let's link Maria Orsic's journey to the teachings of Dolores Cannon, a renowned regressionist and hypnotherapist and awesome teacher. Dolores often spoke about the law of assumption, highlighting the power of our assumptions in shaping our reality. As we explore Maria's story, consider how her beliefs and assumptions might have influenced her experiences, aligning with the principles of the law of attraction and the universal laws and forces. Here's where it gets even more intriguing. It's said that Maria Orsic had a deep connection with horses and that her horse, Vril, played a significant role in her life. As Maria delved deeper into the mysteries of the Vril Society, 
she formed a close-knit group of women, each with flowing long hair, reminiscent of the mane of her beloved horse. Together, they explored the metaphysical realms, conducting seances and seeking a profound connection with source energy. The Vril Society, veiled in secrecy, delved into the unknown, exploring the boundaries between science, mysticism, and the uncharted realms of consciousness. Hitler wanted Maria's information from the extraterrestrials on spaceships. The Nazi regime, recognizing the potential power of Maria's abilities, sought to harness her connection to source energy for their own advantage. However, Maria, guided by her own principles, had different plans. Maria reached out to a brilliant inventor named Nikola Tesla, who shared her fascination with unseen forces of the universe. Tesla, in his wisdom, helped Maria decipher the messages she received, providing insights into the principles of the law of attraction and law of assumption. Through Nikola Tesla's guidance, Maria gained a deeper understanding of how thoughts and beliefs shape reality. Armed with this newfound knowledge, she used the law of attraction not only to escape the clutches of war, but to manifest a path towards a future aligned with her ideals. In the letter that Maria left as they departed, went something like this. In this realm of uncertainty, where shadows of conflict cast their gloom, I embark on a journey fueled by the whispers of unseen forces. As I leave, let these words be etched in the tapestry of time. Niemand herblieben. No one will be left behind. And that translation comes from my sister, who quite often connects with Maria herself when she channels. Some say they all left on a spaceship to the star Aldebaran. In my perspective, Maria Orsic emerges as an intriguing figure, a woman of enlightenment and prosperity, harnessing her understanding of the universal laws and source energy. I think she orchestrated a departure from the hard times she was in and used her wealth to ensure a luxurious escape for everyone involved. My hypothesis leans towards a possibility of her adopting a new identity in Argentina, as did the group of girls she went with. Drawing upon her family's resources and her charismatic nature, Maria had an adventurous spirit and was successful. She had the ability to navigate both relaxation and bravery during perilous times. This paints a picture of a woman in control of her destiny. In my interpretation, Maria's knowledge of the connecting with source energy and the extraterrestrial beings may have played a role in impressing Hitler, securing her and her friends safety. Her strategic thinking could have spared them, forming a symbiotic relationship for a mutual well-being. There were never any bodies and there wasn't a date of death ever. Maria may have opted for a quieter life in Argentina, living out a normal yet enlightened life. This perspective invites us to view her not as a historical enigma, but as a powerful creator. I'm sure she ended up someplace where she could have a horse just like her horse Brill, and she's enjoying her life. Thank you for joining me on this intriguing journey into history. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. I'll see you in the upcoming inspirational videos.